my good people of YouTube, this is MK The Truth, D O D B E N T. Got a good looking pair of sneakers for us to look at today. If you guys are new to the channel, come on and join the family. Also, connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D O D B. And we upload them here as well. But before we get started, you new to my channel? My reviews are for educational purposes only. This is only MK's analysis, and then we get on up out of here. So today I have for you a pair of Nike SB purple box. Well, at least mine came in a purple box. We'll see how they come later. Go ahead, pop the top on you. And today I have for you the Nike SB Dunk Low Supremo. Beautiful looking sneaker. Off rip when I first saw the leaked images of the sneaker, I immediately thought one shoe. Yes, the Paris Nike SB Dunk. Now I know y'all gonna get on me. Hold on, don't 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 throw your tomatoes yet. That's just what I thought <laughs> when I saw them. Now there are two different pairs. I believe there's a high, and I believe there's this one. The high is more closer to looking like the Paris than this one. But the differences between this and the Paris is well, first let's get the person who this is made after. This is made from Ramel's or Ramel Z. He is a graffiti artist or was. A graffiti art artist I believe he has passed away God rest his soul now the differences between this and the Paris the Paris was cut from one cloth and all of those pairs were made from one artist cloth and they made that all into a dunk that's why it's so expensive anyway beautiful looking dunk man can I say one of the best of this year so far to me yes to me, they really, really remind me of like an alternate Paris. I know it doesn't have the same design, the same graphic, but that's just the vibe I get from this particular dunk every time I look at it. I know they're like burgundy or red or something on the Nike swoosh on the Paris dunks, but that's the theme I get when I see these and I accept these as is. Anyway, let's go over the materials. You have a very nice canvas with the uh, graffiti on the upper I believe he liked to do like uh, samurai and things like that I can't really uh, remember what it was but you also have a beautiful no that's not new buck y'all know I love me some new buck this is actually low hair suede look closely it has a really nice this is what low hair I love low hair suede too it just gives off this it almost gives off the characteristics of new buck but this is a very very fine low hair suede it also follows suit on the nike swoosh when you can write your name in it you're good to go toe box looking very very appropriate flip around to the dubre you got this nice gold supreme dubre tongue blacked out with the nike sb up at the top fatness is always appropriate <laughs> comes with the white laces white laces for me are a instant must because white and black with this contrasting it's just going to look so it's just going to look so dope always follow with the supreme branding on the inside you got sup and eam on this shoe flip around to the medial side everything is looking pretty good and the the interesting thing about this dunk i think everybody's going to get the same pattern on every panel of the shoe Whereas the, like I said, the Paris is just broken up. And I think it was very, very smart to go with gum to seal this complete package all together. Very, very beautiful sneaker. In my opinion, these are absolute beautiful must-haves, in my opinion. Now, the lace tips say world and then famous, of course. The font looks a bit small, but we will see later on. Let's take a look at the other shoe right quick. I want to show you guys the details here. You can see the details get a little bit different with that graffiti. I just love these, man. I love it from the material choice that they chose to use, the low hair suede. Everything is panning out to look very, very good. And you see the graphics on both of these shoes look very different. But I did notice one thing on my shoe where my graphic is supposed to cut off and lay on this edge here and bring some more of this red down. I got it just stretched up a little bit too far right here. Kind of kind of messing it up a little bit, but it's so much going on on the shoe. You wouldn't even notice anyway. Anyway, these are looking really good. You got Nike on the boot with more of that premium material. I'm pretty sure these are going to be like a quick strike or something like that. Given the materials on the shoe, blacked out on the inside. Once again, you got the sup and the eam 
on the other one and ain't up too much else i need to show you guys on here of course you got the world famous supreme hang tag and once again the graphics kind of flip flop so you got that much in there and then you got that right there anyway this is the supreme nike sb dunk i will be going for me another pair of these and then another because i think these are absolutely gorgeous in my opinion it has nothing to do with supreme i don't even really care for supreme that is no disrespect to them i just i'm not a name or a label whore i'm just i'm just not but these supreme y'all did a good job let me know what you guys think about these down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t hey man i love y'all we up out of here